if it's something that you're not sure about just yet, find a way to make it work until you are sure about it. You know what I mean? You can't let go of what you already have for something that you're not even sure about. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is my time. I got home about an hour ago. No, maybe about 15 or 20 minutes ago. And I stopped out of the block to buy a burger because I felt like I was starving and I really was not in the mood to come inside here and cook. So I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm going to just buy a burger. It's quick. It's easy. And then I'm going to shower and go to bed because tomorrow is the orientation. And am I nervous up to my neck? No, I just have that knot in my stomach but it's not like terrible terrible and just now when i was on my way home on the bus i was listening to a video and the girl was pretty much saying listen the 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 things that are going to turn out good in your life makes you the most nervous you know the things that are going to have a positive turnover they make you nervous they make you anxious you know you're so anxious going into it so i feel like that kind of calmed me down a little bit in terms of like where my anxiety stands so it was just like all right well you're no you're nervous because you know, this is a good thing. This is you trying to elevate yourself or whatever. So we're not really so nervous anymore. Maybe I'm not until tomorrow morning. I have to make sure that my alarm is set. Tomorrow is Tuesday and I set my alarm for 6.30 because I have to be at the facility at 8 o'clock. So I want to give myself at least an hour. So from 6.30 to 7.30 to like shower, get ready, make something to eat and then, um, you know, have my husband hopefully drop me off there because he's going to be home in the mornings and stuff like that. And I'm really hoping that it really goes smoothly. And I think it might be because I remember when I was starting school too, the first day I was so nervous and I have a video here on my channel too of the first day of like CNA school. And I was literally so nervous until I got there and I realized that every it's everybody's first day too, you know? So it's totally normal to be nervous and you're learning, you know, you're going there to learn. And so I feel like that made me not so nervous anymore. But yeah, my friend just texted me, right? And today I was at work and I'm just like, I wonder how she's doing. Let me message her. You know, I was at work today and I was in the back, like it was almost time to leave. So it was earlier. And I'm just like, I wonder how Shanae is. Because I haven't spoken to her in a while. And normally um, we talk more often than that. Even if it's not like a whole conversation at once you know, just to check in, like, hey, how are you doing? And I'm like, I think it has been over a week since we've spoken. So I'm like, when I get home, I'm going to have to message you to see how you're doing. And it's so funny that you just messaged me. <laughs> I think she bought a blow dryer that I told her about. That was easy. Wow. Thursday would have made, Thursday coming would have made a week since we actually spoke. So it's not really a week yet, just a couple of days. But it wasn't like, we didn't really have a full conversation or anything. I just asked her something and then I figured it out. So I was just like, Okay, never mind. But, um, yeah, so I feel like it's a little warm in here tonight, but it wasn't as bad as last night was. So I feel like right now I'm going to, um, since I already ate, I'm going to shower and brush my teeth. And, uh, let me take my hair out a little bit because I felt like today it was so tight. Last thing I want to wake up with tomorrow is a damn headache, okay? Very last thing. So let's fix that. And you guys, what's so funny is this week at work, I'm on this because I, I specifically requested the days that are going to be the orientation, which is Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And so he made me work Sunday and Monday and I'd work Friday and Saturday. And I definitely think that today is going to be my last day. I mean, I'm definitely waiting to see how the orientation goes because I didn't tell him that I'm leaving and I definitely didn't leave until I was sure. When we were growing up, my mom used to say, do not give away certain for uncertain, like if it's something that you're not sure about just yet, find a way to make it work until you are sure about it. You know what I mean? You can't let go of what you already have for something that you're not even sure about. And so that always stuck with me. And so because of that, I'm just like, see, I even set a reminder. Listen, guys, I'm not playing. When it comes to important things, I will have Siri remind me of every single thing just so that I do not forget. I have a reminder reminding me that I have the orientation tomorrow at 8 a.m., and I already got everything else together, like the scrubs that I'm going to wear and stuff like that. I bought that a couple of weeks ago. I think right after I went to the, to, right after I went to apply, 
I um, went and bought the scrubs and everything, so I'm really prepared where that is concerned, so I'm very glad for that. Wow, can't believe, I'm still so nervous, but, you know. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go, I, I'm gonna go um, shower. I was thinking I should probably wash my hair out a little bit, but I feel like it'll work. I'm gonna go shower. I'm hoping that tomorrow, too, I, I, I don't think the orientation is gonna be all day long. I think at least three o'clock hopefully I should really ask my friend because I have a friend that currently works there so I should really ask her but I think at least three o'clock clock will probably be able to leave I plan on taking something to eat with me just so you know I'm not there starving I'm pretty sure there's gonna be food because I went to that facility before where we were doing the practical from like school and they did have food but I'm very picky so I'll take snack and stuff with me just to make sure that I'm good you know and, um, yeah, so hopefully if it's not all day, then tomorrow I'll come home and, like, cook. But I think tomorrow I'll pick this back up to tell you guys how it went, how the first day went. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So, um, I just got home. Obviously still wearing the scrubs and everything. But let me tell you something. Today was the real deal. And when I say real deal, I mean today I actually did some work. Like, today was the second day of the orientation. And Lord knows. Like, I was willing and ready to work. And yesterday I felt like I wanted to be paired on the floor where one of my friend was but then when I was thinking about it I'm just like no I don't want to be I don't want to learn the quirks of the facility well not quirks like the little bends in the facility like that I want to actually learn the way how I'm supposed to learn so I know the right thing my friend is always going to be there and so I didn't even suggest going on the fifth floor to the instructor I just let her do her thing she put me on the sixth floor the lady that I'm with is amazing. It's my second time at this facility and I've had two amazing people. This one, she's very thorough. She's very quick and I really like that and she's very hardworking. Today, she wanted to like breeze through the shift. So I ended up doing one, two, I ended up doing three residents on my own and she like left and did something else and she was telling me that, you know, you work really, really good. Really, really better than a lot of the people that I have trained and that have been here for a while, honestly. And I'm just like, well, that is exactly what I want to hear because that's one of the main reasons why I didn't even suggest going on the floor that my friend that already works there is on because I just want to learn the way how I'm supposed to learn, you know? I'm not trying to play around right now. And so absolutely love that. Tomorrow's the last day of the orientation and tomorrow I'm going to actually get four residents to do on my own, which I pretty much did today. So shouldn't be that hard. Today, one of the residents that I did too was a higher lift. How do you say it? Higher lift. And I didn't know ahead of time. And so I cleaned her up and changed her and everything. And then I'm just like, well, she's not really, you know, the rest of the ones that I had, they were more helpful. And, you know, they were holding on when I was turning them on one side and holding on when I was turning them to the next side. And this lady, she wasn't exactly responding like that. I really had to take her hand and like put it over there and hold it on the bed rail. And so um, I realized that she's probably a higher lift. And so I called the... um my mentor and she when I called her she was just like yeah this one is a Hoyer so she got the machine and she made me do it so I know what I'm doing even though I had pretty much figured it out before but she made me do it and I absolutely loved that okay I feel like I'm learning good things out here in life she showed me the books and everything and I feel like I'm pretty much set and ready to go so that's something so now I really have to you know wait and see how tomorrow goes and like what it's like moving forward but I'm very very excited and yesterday I was so nervous like I was a ball of nerves up to my neck yesterday but then once I got there and it's always like that with me whenever I'm doing something new it's always like that and then once I got there and pretty much realized that everybody is probably a ball of nerves because it's everybody's first day it's everybody's orientation you know it's all the same and we're all here to learn and so I pretty much calmed down after that but seeing how well I did today on my own that was very encouraging for me and so you know I'm very excited to go back tomorrow and to see what it's like going forward I know that there are gonna be some hard days and you know some not so hard days because today was not hard at all and I'm pretty much looking forward to that but so far absolutely love the experience and I'm looking forward to working there so tomorrow I'll hear if I get a shift for the following week so I know if I'm gonna go back to my job or not. So yeah. And then I feel like too, I could 
I don't know, I really feel like I don't want to be working both jobs, honestly. Um, I really don't. I really don't think I do. I'm actually thinking about it right now. You know, because what one of the ladies was telling me today is you pretty much get to pick your days, you know, so you pick and choose the days that you want and like what you kind of want to do. But like I said, tomorrow, after, you know, we speak to um, one of the ladies that helps to run the facility, we, I will see how things go and I'll like make a decision from there as to what I want to do for and with myself going forward. But this one is, the only difference with this is I have to wake up way earlier. This morning I had to wake up at 5.30 because my shift starts at 7 o'clock and I had to be there by 7 o'clock. So I woke up at 5.30 to give myself enough time to move around and make some breakfast if I wanted to, which I made some pours this morning and that really held me over pretty much the whole time. So I love that. And then I didn't really eat anything crazy all day, so I'm going to have to find something to eat right now. It was a good day. It was a really good day. Can't complain, honestly. What I'm complaining about is the goddamn walking that I just did from all the way up the block to down here. Up a couple blocks. About 10 at this point, okay? My, my, my calves are hurting. They really felt the burn. Anyways, that was, you know, my experience with the orientation for the two days. And so far, I love it. Can't complain. So, yeah. That's it.